Hi everyone, welcome to Narisha Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in the last video of Go Language, we have discussed the introduction part and how to install, where to install, and all the things we have completed in the last video. Before going to start learning programming in Go Language, one very important concept we should understand. So that is programming elements. Programming elements. A common concept of all programming languages but a very important concept so what are the programming elements and all see in the last class we have seen every programming language every programming language is used to develop applications it's like a software simply so what is an application is a software software is a set of programs software is a set of programs so whenever we are writing a number of programs so we combine all these programs and we launch as a software so why we are using programs means what for communication applications we are using for communication where we are sharing the information we are sharing so one important thing you just understand that communication process in your life, there is only one process called communication. In the same way, we are using applications for communication reasons. Here, we are developing number of applications and number of programs we are writing. Program and program will communicate. For example, if you take a Gmail application, first we start with a login page. We start communicating with Gmail application with a login page. From login page, we will switch to inbox or we will switch to send, we will switch to drafts. So, between the programs, there is a process of communication. We are switching, how it is a switching and all these things will come into that programming structure part and programming elements part. Here it is a programs for communication. See here, we are taking two programs. For example, if you take two persons to understand. Here it is a, this is one person is called one program the person want to communicate with a another person it's like another program it's like another program here it is a how communication starts how communication starts see one program in application always visible to another program in that application one program is visible to another program in a communication here how these programs will communicate and why these programs will communicate that is the concept now see for example here it is i am taking the class i am sending my information to you it's nothing but why you people are communicating with me it means what to get some information from me can you access my information directly impossible there should be a process called communication but first of all if you want to communicate with someone first of all you should call that person how can we call means what with identity for every program as identity is very very important just a name so any name we can use for example amar one person name i am taking here it is another person is want to communicate with this person communicate so here it is identities are very very important why we have identities not for identification for calling identities are important for calling a group of people are present if i want to call a particular person i have only option is what unique identity that is and next one where we are storing the information so the main mode of application in the last session we have seen Suppose banking application. So, what is the main purpose of banking application? Processing account holders information. If there is no account holder, no banking sector. So, way we are storing the information in application means what? Using the concept called variables. A common concept of all programming languages. Variables. Here it is a program, Amar. The information of Amar, it's like age. Is a mail ID. What is the mobile number? what is the address what is the qualification all these things comes under variables if you just look at one person for example if you just look at one program the information is not visible directly 
Suppose for the second person, information of first person information not available. The person should communicate to access the information. To access with identity, the person should call first. Next, request to get the variables. How they can request? So, communication. Communication is always possible using functionality. Using functionality. See, for example, here it is I am teaching. It is my functionality. I know the programming language. But suppose if I don't know how to teach, I don't know how to deliver, you people will not communicate. This communication will break automatically. Right? Here it is a communication is possible with the help of functions. For example, speaking is one functionality. Speaking. Here it is a C is one functionality. Teaching is one functionality. Is driving the car is one functionality. It's just like your capabilities. A program capability is nothing but functions. And the communication is possible with the help of functions. Suppose second person want to speak. is nothing but request through speak. That is. For example, to get the information, to get the mail ID or to get the mobile number, request through function and response also through function only. So, in any programming language, communication with a program always starts with a function. A simple example in C language. Program execution starts with a main function. Y starts with main function. Functions for communication. Of course, applications for communication only. So, that is the reason whatever the programming language it is, without functions, there is no programming. Even here it is in a Go language also, a first program or every program starts with a function called main function. Main. So, why the name main they, they are using? Why it starts with a main function only? And all these things we will we'll see briefly in the coming concepts. So, these are the two programming elements, variables and functions, two very important concepts we should understand before going to start programming, ok. So, hope you understood. For more videos, please subscribe to Narishati channel. Thank you.